Hello and welcome back to another uh, GIMP with tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make a cool vector effect uh, coming from the gun like this one right here. It was requested by someone on the GIMP know-how forum so I hope this helps you. So uh, create a new image about 1280 by 800 or whatever you need it for and then there's two stocks that you're gonna need. The gun, the main gun, and then the grenade. The grenade I've already cut out for time's sake. This is actually kind of a long thing to make, so I've already made some of it. And uh, I've already cut that out, so I'm just going to leave it on the bottom so you can't see it. But uh, yeah, I'll leave the link for these two in the description. Okay. So to start off, you're going to want to take your path tool. Create a new layer. I've already got a new layer right here. And then just make a path however you want your drip type thing to be take a lot more time than I'm taking right now I'm just doing it quickly for the sake of time and then when you finish it <coughs> go along with the contour of the uh, of the uh, nozzle or the hole in the gun and then just hit selection from path <coughs> now take your fill tool and fill it with 0, <coughs> zero, zero a 2ff that color. Now fill it in on a new layer. Second. Isn't that filling? Oh, I have it hidden. Uh, okay. So once you have that filled in, just go to select none. Then go to script foo layer effects inner glow. Okay. For the color for this, you want 9f dcff for the color. Opacity 60%, contour, linear, and then you can see the rest. The only thing you want to change is the blending mode to screen and the size to 220. And everything else should be default besides the stuff I already showed you. Then just click OK. Shouldn't take too long to render. And then you get that little thing right there. So now you want what you want to do is on this bottom layer, make sure you're doing it on the bottom layer and not the top layer, else it will look wrong. Go to script foo, layer effects, bevel and emboss. Now change the style to inner bevel, the depth to 26, the direction to up, the size to 58, soften to 16, the uh, angle default, altitude 20. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. Uh, gloss contour, cove shallow, highlight color, the same as we used for the last one, 9F DCFF, highlight mode screen, highlight opacity 62, shadow color. 2B, 5B, 76, HTML notation, shadow mode normal, shadow opacity 3.2, surface contour linear, and then those two, just leave them unchecked. Now, it shouldn't take too long to render, unless it's a really big uh, splat thing. I'm not sure what to call it. Okay, now that we have this, go on your uh, first layer for this, right click, press alpha to selection, and select that right there. Go to select, invert, and then on this top layer right here, or the the uh, highlight layer, uh, click on the not the mask layer. You want the opposite of the mask, and then just hit delete. Then do it the same for the uh, the one underneath it. So it deletes everything except in that selection. Then go to select, none. Now we're almost <coughs> we're almost done. Then just go back to the original layer. Go to script foo, layer effects, satin. <coughs> now for the color, <coughs> you just want a darker of the color that colors that you used before. I'm using 12, 6, 18 E. Opacity 35. Blending mode multiply. Offset angle 19. Uh, and offset distance 12. Size 14. Contour linear and invert it. So just click OK once you have all those settings. <coughs> and there we go. We got our own little splat there. So then just hide all layers except for those those five it should be. Right click and press merge visible layers. Merge them. And then it's one layer it's easy to handle with. So I've already made one just for effect. So now that you have that, uh, create a new layer. We're going to add droplets. So take the paths tool and right around the nozzle. Or, uh, yeah, the hole right here. Just take the path tool 
and you're going to have, just try to get some out of there, just make five or so, just enough to give it a good look. <coughs> so just make some splats like it's coming out this side, uh, selection from bath, and you want this all on one layer. Uh, this is a new layer. So just fill it, and don't do anything until you have all of them finished, just so you don't have to keep doing it over and over and over again. So just something like that. Uh, not nothing too complicated unless you want it complicated. And then you can, after you finish that part, zoom out and make some water droplets. No, uh, just or not water, whatever this is. Kind of like that little droplets coming off of the splats, and make a good number of those. And then once you have that, that's the basic uh, basic structure we're going to be using for the uh, gun. That's pretty much it for the gun. Then we're going to move on to the grenade after I uh, render all these or just the filters. Then once you want to use them more than once, just go to filters recently used and then just start from the bottom up. So you don't have to redo all those settings. And if you don't have ScriptFu, I will leave a link in the description. And if you don't know how to install it, just watch my first video called Installing Add-ons. It'll help you. Okay. So once you have all these all done, we're gonna work on the grenade. And what you're gonna want to do for the grenade is, oh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But here, I'm ready to take out the grenade now. So just uh, as you can see, I already to this, but uh, so cut out each or not each, but a good majority of those little squares and separate them so it's like like, like it's exploding. Okay, you're just gonna want to do that and just like this. Just move them out a little bit. You don't even have to move some of them out, just enough to give it so you can put smoke underneath. Now create a new layer and put it under the grenade layer. And then take a gray foreground color and a brush just a normal circular brush uh, decent size let's say about five okay that should be good and then just make some rounded things just like this that might even be a little too big and make them different colors you're gonna want a bunch of different uh, smoke bunch of different color smoke coming out of it so I'm just gonna make just a few just because, just for time's sake. So, lighter and darker, just uh, whatever you want, really. And take your time on this. This you want this to look really good. So don't speed like I am. Don't go really fast. So once we have that done, we're gonna use the same filters as we did for the uh, the uh, drop ones. So go to recently used inner glow. But instead of blue, just use a light gray. I'm using C8, C8, C8. Same settings. And then make sure you're using the original layer, or else it won't work. Double and a boss. Same color. C8, C8, C8. And then a darker gray. 616161 is the one I am using. Then alpha to selection the original layer. Invert your selection. And just delete. Delete. And select none. Now on that first layer, go to filters, recently used satin. Dark a little darker gray than the other one. Uh five 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 should do fine. Okay. Now you should have smoke all around this, like just everywhere coming out of the grenade. I'm just trying to save time, so I'm only doing two.